Good morning, guys. Welcome to Thursday. I'm Marshall Berkshire, and I help codependents get unstuck in their healing and actually achieve healing in their world. Like, you know, closure to trauma, happiness after codependency, self-advocacy, confidence, a sense of who they are, knowing what they want, knowing what they feel, being able to advocate for themselves without the guilt and the shame anymore. <clears throat> These are the kind of results uh, clients get very very quickly students get very very quickly and ultimately the ability to have and sustain healthy fulfilling relationships in a life that they love so that's what i hope codependents accomplish in their lives if that's attractive to you then you're in the right place with me excited to have you here today i'm going to go on a little rant <clears throat> rant is going to be healing is not about fixing yourself <laughs> it might sound paradoxical or even a contradiction but here we go. I need to share this out to the community really quick. So let me plop out here and do that. So the community, if you're new to me, the community is a secure private Facebook group where you can find support, tools, and guidance in your journey beyond codependency and your recovery from narcissistic abuse, neglect, and that kind of thing. You can find the link above on Facebook, below on YouTube. And if you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. You can also search it on Google or on Facebook or whatnot. It's Thriving Beyond Codependency Community. So we got about 2,500 people there. You're in good company. Come join us and find shelter from the nightmare that you've been living through. So let me get this shared out here real quick. Hi, Rita. Good to see you too. Things today are technologically you know, doing their thing. So, okay. A rant. I've been in, in the self-help personal development field uh, personally 15 years and I've been teaching uh, for 12. So I started way back in June 1st, 2008 is when I really hit the gas on that. I started working with trauma first. That was my first training and specialty. It's helping people move through trauma to closure. And the second um, uh, the second specialty is codependency. And that, that also is a product of my own development because I wanted to be free of my trauma. And while doing that work led me to become free of my codependency. And during these, these, these long years with this process, I've seen a lot of bullshit. <clears throat> and I used to buy into it. When I first started doing my healing work, it was about trying to get more things in life. It's about trying to get more money, the car, a better marriage, all right, or to fix the marriage, um, to to feel, to get things that I thought would make me feel better about me, right? So I was treating my healing from a framework of transactionalism, aka I will heal so I can get what I want, and that, frankly, is very harmful to us. Because now we are rejecting ourselves so that we can get what we want. We think the pain is the enemy. So we try to get rid of it. We call this fixing. You know, I'll fix myself so I can get what I want or I can get the love or I can be, be X, Y, or Z. Does this sound familiar to you? Is this something you've done to yourself? Is this what you're trying to get in your world? Like, man, if I could just get rid of this pain, I could have X. That's that's what I'm talking about because this, it seems loving. It seems like a positive thing, right? Because we think that, hey, giving myself X is a good thing. That's loving. But it isn't in this context because we're rejecting ourselves. We're saying, pain, you're wrong. Got to get rid of you because you're in the way of what I want. It's a sense of self-loathing. It's a it's a, an action of, of rejection and and exiling or expelling this part of yourself out of your world when in reality that pain needs your love and acceptance it needs to know that part of yourself needs to know you care about it that's why it's in pain to begin with is that it's been rejected it's been exiled it's been kicked out and now we're going to kick it out again by trying to fix it so we can get what we want see the see the paradox there Healing is about integration. It's about the, re the retrieving of and the receiving of parts of ourselves that have been in pain. 
that have been suffering, that have been alone, that have been isolated, that have been lost. And that, that means we've got to let go of trying to get something through our healing. We've got to lean into the discovery of who we are through our healing. See, healing isn't about fixing. Healing is about coming back home. Back home to self. Back to self-discovery. Back to self-truth. Back to beingness in our, uh, in our current, current state, our present awareness of wholeness. Now, wholeness doesn't exclude pain. It doesn't exclude trauma. It includes it. It's like part of existence is pain. Part of existence is trauma. And understanding its relationship to our own identity, our own growth, our own well-being. It's bringing it back in. Becoming a shelter unto ourselves, unto these parts of ourselves that have been suffering and lost and, and exiled for so long. Not doing that so I can go out and get a Mercedes. Because that was one of my goals. I'm going to heal this trauma. I'm going to get a Mercedes. No. I still have the Mercedes. But my healing is no longer the reason why I'm doing it. Or that, yeah, why I'm going to get the Mercedes. I'm not healing to get that. I'm healing because I love myself. I have respect for myself. I value myself. A lot of times in codependency, because of the abuse we're enduring, we become an enemy to our own pain. We villainize the pain. The pain's in the way. The pain's the wrong thing. The pain's the bad thing. We gotta do the thing with the pain. Gotta get rid of the thing. Blah, blah, blah. We have internalized the narrative that the abuser has given us about our pain. You know, we, we're told that it's a burden, so we treat it as a burden. Right? We've internalized their point of view about our pain and then treated it that way. Our job bouncing our or, or reaching beyond codependency is to connect back to the pain and with love and with an acceptance um th this is a fascinating journey because like if we're doing it through the closure technique or we're doing it through some other uh, modality for healing it, it seems to be the same where we have to build trust with the aspect of self that's been exiled and allow them to warm up to us with our consistent behavior of love towards them and then once that bridge is created, they start to really blossom. They start to really grow. And we start to find more of ourself that we didn't know we were, we were missing. We start to discover more about who we are. And that emptiness that we were trying to fill with the Mercedes or with the money or with the relationship vanishes. Because that part that is healing and growing is the missing piece to that space inside yourself. See, healing is the magic of coming back to you and discovering you again. And so when you, I, I see it a lot lately because it's promo season um, with the self-help world and I'm even running a promo with it, you know, fun things like that. But there's a lot of this, heal your trauma so you can accomplish your goal. That's unkind. That's cruel to ourselves, in my opinion. Because now we're trying to use ourselves to get something. We've bought into the commoditization of our trauma. When our trauma isn't something that needs to be fixed. It's not in the way. It's part of the journey. And there's an, the other thing with this is a lot of times the goals we have pre-trauma are not the goals we have post-trauma. Okay. So if I got trauma and I get closure on, I get healing with it, my goals shift. I've, I've experienced it numerous times. So I become skeptical about what I really want um, until I, especially if what I want has a huge amount of pain around it or I'm using it to avoid pain or to prove something. These are not genuine goals. These are not genuine desires I've learned. At least in me, they're not. Because if I have to prove something then I am rejecting something within me. I am operating from the assumption mm -hmm. I don't have value there and I need to retrieve my value from it and get more honest with my own worth there. And this is the problem with the self-help industry and personal development. Is it's, 
they hook us on the idea that if I do X, I get Y. And they're training us to reject ourselves that way. They're training, to, training us to look at our, our pain and our trauma as an interference to our happiness, when in reality, it's, this, it's the pathway back home to genuine happiness, to that sense of wholeness that we're seeking. We need to turn inward and reconnect back to self, back to our internal tribe, bring these parts back into the fold, and start nurturing a, a positive, loving, and secure relationship with them. And from that, we will discover what we would like to express and desire, be, do, and have in the world. And it'll be much, much more effortless, effortless for us in that regard, because now we have a very sincere desire and sincere focus for ourselves that isn't mired both by trauma, but also by a, a false identity or ego that we're looking to try to comfort. In other words, we're living more genuinely to who we really are. And that's the point of healing. It's not to fix ourselves. It's to know ourselves. It's to return home and to love and enjoy the being that we be. That's the ultimate healing in my book. That's what's brought me more joy. Because, you know, I don't drive, I don't even own a Mercedes. I'd like to. They're beautiful cars. Um, I live in a basement apartment, guys. <laughs> Napa, Idaho. Now, I'm not making billions of dollars a year on this. Um, I love what I do because it works. And it's improved my life phenomenally. And I love the, the challenge of business and entrepreneurship and creating solutions. That's magic to me. And so, really, what I'm saying is don't buy into the narrative that your trauma is in the way of what you desire. Instead, explore your trauma as part of the path to what you desire. Because ultimately, and as one of my mentors says, Sonia Miller says, we're not really looking for a thing. We're looking for an experience. And that connecting to that experience, trauma is part of that path. Healing the trauma, bringing us home is part of that path the experience when she says experience we're talking about an emotional experience something we feel right and we can have that abundantly without all the thingies because the thingies aren't the source of the feeling they're a, an expression of it if you're looking at it that way life becomes a lot easier to find the things that bring you joy because you already know what you're looking to feel so there's some magic there on that that's my rant today it's a pretty simple um to the point, as usual, um, be kind with yourself, guys. Now, if you're struggling with trauma or you're looking for to find closure and find that integration and come to know yourself more, Get Closure Now is open. Right now, we have, last I checked, which was last night, seven seats open out of 15. So <laughs> this is probably going to sell out by the end of the week. So... I might open up some more seats. I don't know because Get Closure Now uh, includes a one-on-one -on -one session with me. And so there's a time commitment I make with you guys there. And so I have to gauge that out because there's, there's a fair amount of time that goes into that. But it's six weeks long and I help you accomplish four things in this course. Number one, I help you start restoring safety to feel by regulating your nervous system, by helping you build capacity, which is number two. Number three, helping you anchor safety back into your body, into your present physical reality so you feel safe and to, to heal. So you can have that physical safety that's required for trauma healing, emotional safety to feel, and then uh, relational safety. And that brings us to number four. I teach you, I prep you for the closure technique. I don't teach you how to do the technique. I teach, I prep you on how uh, for you, uh, blah, get the words right, right? I prepare you to go through the technique with me in a private one-on-one -on -one session. Okay. Because this this is not a process you can facilitate yourself unless you're trained in certain kind of uh, modalities and, and, and processes. But I trip prep you for the process. We go through it together and you can accomplish closure with a trauma. So there you go. That's what it is. So if you're looking for those things, looking to feel more at peace, to have more capacity to feel so you're not so arrested and trapped by emotion, feel more secure and safe both physically and emotionally and to find some closure on trauma this is the course for you uh, six weeks long we start october 4th at 2 p.m i usually do classes at 7 this time it's 2 p.m on a sunday 
it makes it a little easier in the afternoon. We'll see how this works. It'll be an exploration here. Um, if you have questions, feel free to PM me. Uh, the link is above on Facebook, below on YouTube. There's payment plans for the program. Guys, appreciate you. Remember that you're worth knowing, loving, and keeping. Go out there and heal your trauma not to get something, but to know yourself more and to practice that loving connection with you. Okay? Okay, I will see you guys in our next training video. Be safe out there.